confess our faith. One of the Brooklyn Diocese's most beloved leaders, retired auxiliary Bishop Guy Saint Sarik, died unexpectedly on Saturday morning. The leader of the Haitian Apostolate for over three decades inspired people with his quiet, soft-spoken leadership. I'm going to ask you some questions. Nicholas DiMarzio, who knew Bishop Sansarique since the 1980s, spoke to us by phone about the sad news. He was a leader. He was a boisterous, he, uh, calm and directed in all that he did, and uh, that also inspired people. America's first Haitian Bishop Guy Sansarique was born in Haiti, the youngest of nine children. He attended the seminary in Canada and was ordained in Haiti at the Cathedral of Port-au-Prince in 1960. Soon after, he was sent to minister to Haitian refugees in the Bahamas and then sent to Rome to study at the Gregorian University. Do you believe that there is a Godfather Almighty? He came to New York after his family fled to Queens in the late 60s because of Haiti's oppressive regime. But Bishop Sansarik never forgot his people or his homeland. Bishop DiMarzio remembers his commitment in the Brooklyn Diocese, where he worked with the Haitian community in almost 20 different parishes. He has you know, kept the National Haitian Apostolate going for many years. He had a blog, I think, and a newsletter that he shepherded. So we kept in contact with the Haitian people, not just in the diocese, but uh, nationwide exactly, and really even beyond. He was ordained an auxiliary bishop in 2006 and officially retired in 2010. Bishop Octavio Cisneros also knew and worked with Bishop Sansarik for decades. He was a leader for his people, for the Haitian community. Above all, he was a pastor. Uh, I think that uh, that is the recognition that we should definitely give him. He was a pastor. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.